Finally, a new electronic fuel pump that you can use with your generator so the days of gravity feed are over. Now this came out in March of 2023 at the National Hardware Show and it has finally made it to market. This is actually something that GenMax made, so I'll show you how this thing works. We'll go over a little bit of which generators it works with and then see if this is something that you might be interested in. Okay, now when you get this out of the box, this is what you will see is it will come with this little manual, kind of gives you an idea, and it also shows you the specs of the thread pitch. So this is something you'll have to see. If you already own an existing generator, will it fit these specs right here? I'll get a close-in shot for you there. That way you guys can see, but this will fit a lot of different lines, and we are going to go over that in just a minute. Now, it will also come with the fuel pump. And then it's going to come with a couple different ways to connect it. This will be your primary connection. It'll just plug into here. And then you will also have a 12 volt source. So if your generator happens to have a 12 volt socket, you can plug directly into there, then plug into the adapter and that'll power up the fuel pump. Now, a secondary way that you can do it, which is I'm glad they included this. You can now just hook this straight up into, you know, a 12 volt battery if you wanted to. So this is kind of nice. So you don't have to mess with anything. It just automatically goes into a, you know, battery and you're ready to go. It also comes with the fuel line. This is nothing more than something that you can pick up online. I'll have links for all this stuff, but it does come with this one. But if you needed another one or if you were to damage it and I'll show you how to hook this up in a little bit. And then you will need an external fuel tank. This one's just a six gallon. I'll show you where I got this one. I'll have a link down below. This one also comes with its own, uh, it came with its own fuel line, which honestly, it looks identical to the one that came with the Gen Max one. So um, kind of cool because you can source all the parts. So except for the pump, that one you will have to get directly from uh, Gen Max. So let's get this kind of hooked up and show you how it works. Okay, now on the generator, you will have to take off the little clip and then remove the chain. You will also have to take out the strainer that is inside. And don't worry, there is a strainer that is on the external fuel tank, so you won't really need this one anymore. The chain will then just drop inside. Don't worry, that's not gonna do anything, and you can retrieve it if you need to. And now you would just take your fuel pump, go ahead and slide this in, and thread it on. Now, it is kind of facing backwards. It'd be nice if that maybe was adjustable, but not that that's that big of a deal. You're not going to just sit there and stare at it. Okay, now when hooking up your fuel line, this is basically like the same thing that you would do if you happen to have a boat and you had like an outboard. There's a little arrow that's on your primer bulb. This primer bulb is going to be facing or going towards your engine or towards the generator in this case. So when you would then just take this connection and go ahead and put it up on the fuel pump. And then just make sure that snaps on place all the way. And then same thing with the fuel tank side. And sometimes these can be a little bit hard to get them to snap into place, but you want to make sure it is snapped all the way into place. Then you would add fuel into your gas tank or your external tank. Now after you do add fuel, you want to make sure that your vent is open or else this will end up, you know, kind of creating a vacuum and then it'll basically suck in the tank and it won't be able to draw fuel anymore. So make sure the vent is nice and open and then that part is ready to go. Next, you're going to want to come over to your primer bulb and then just go ahead and start squeezing this until it gets firm. This is the same thing that you do on an outboard too, This if you happen to have a boat. So if you guys are familiar with that, then you'll definitely know how that works. And then now you can start to feel it starting to get firm and we should be just about ready to go. And there we go. Now that the bulb has actually got some fuel in it, it'll just keep pushing fuel right into the other generator, by the way. So, but there is fuel in here now. Go ahead and hook up your adapter. And we're going to go ahead and use the 12 volt socket one. Plug that in. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the generator. This is the new EFI one, if you haven't seen this yet, so definitely pretty cool. Turn that back off real quick. Let this prime up for just a second. Now there is already fuel inside the generator, and I'll show you over here that the 12 volt source isn't gonna give you any power until the generator is running. So if you want power to this thing, 
um, then you will have to use that other 12 volt source. So that's kind of what this thing is designed for is that it runs off of its own power and this doesn't run constantly. It only runs when the fuel gets low enough, then it'll turn on, fill up, and then the float inside will shut it off. So let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. Which I haven't actually ran this since uh, the video a few weeks ago. So, there, there we go. Okay, so after the generator has already ran for a few seconds and the green light is on, meaning power is going out, then you can go ahead and turn this on. It'll take about five seconds for this to start pumping fuel if it needs it. And then if it goes to standby, the green light will just sit there and flash like about once every second. And you can also turn it back off, but the red light will come on if it's been trying to draw up fuel too long, if the external tank is empty. But let me take this out so you can see how it works. Okay, I have this in a little basin here so you can see how it works. I'll turn this on, and in about five seconds or less, it should start pumping fuel. And as we look, there it goes. So look at that, that moves a decent amount of fuel. That's pumping out pretty good there. And so this will probably fill up a 1.5 gallon tank in about two minutes or less. Look at that. Now I don't have any flow rate specs, but it's definitely enough to fill this up to where I can't see this pump drawing a lot of power. It'll probably only run two minutes every several hours. But right there, it looks like it shuts off about halfway up the float, give or take. And then right about there, it comes back on. So the last quarter of the float, let that run, see where it shuts off again. Well, I kind of pushed it down, but either way, but you can see the light flashes now once it's in standby mode. And then once you need more fuel, the light will go to that steady green. And then if the light comes on and it's red, well, that means there's an error somewhere. You'll have to shut it off and then turn it back on. Okay, so now if you're wondering if it'll work on the Hondas, well, no, it will not because this thread and size is way different. So this is quite a bit smaller on the little Honda 2200s, but they have their own fuel pump and most people don't really have a problem running uh, external fuel tanks. It's pretty easy to do that with the Honda. Now when it came to the other generators, you had to do a gravity feed, but now this really kind of changes the game with stuff. So if you have a max pitting rods generator, or if you have other generators that look like this suitcase generator, like this Pulsar here, this is a Pulsar 4000. It's also a dual fuel, but since Dinkin Power or Genmax, which is these guys over here, they make these units for these companies with just a few different specifications, but it's still using the 145cc engine that's in here, and they're still using that same fuel tank. So this guy will work on this and also the Pulsars. Now, if you happen to have a generator that looks like this guy, this one here is a power smart generator, but has a different engine in it than um, when you'll see other models. Like, uh, let's say the Champion, for instance, right? It looks almost exactly identical because they use basically the same casings. Uh, the only thing they change is kind of the engine and the electronics and stuff. But if you happen to have one that looks like this power smart or the Champion 2500 or the 18, this will not work as obviously that filler neck is quite a bit smaller, much like the Honda, so that's also a no-go. So you would want to be using, basically, anything that looks like that suitcase generator there. Any of the new Genmax suitcase generators, it should fit on there. But if you're wanting to use it on, let's say, the bigger ones, the Genmax 6000 or maybe the Genmax 7250, models that look like that, that have the metal gas tank, uh, it's not going to work on those, so you're going to need something different. But I will have links of everything that you guys did see down below. I'll have the link of the new fuel pump and also this, uh, this is like 6.3 gallons, I believe. So I will have a link of that down below. And I hope this video helped you guys out, and I hope to see you in the next one.